Well, hi, y'all. Here it is, uh, September. Is this is September 21st or 22nd. Let me look on my phone. I can't keep up. 22nd, Saturday. I think today's first day of fall. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. But, uh, yeah. Um, well, what's new with y'all? After what we went through with uh, Hurricane Florence, and they're saying that uh, um, there might be some more storms, big old storms hit the hit that side of the United States again. Boy, I hope not. I don't know what we're going to do. It, it just looks like the the whole world is getting slammed. Japan has really been getting slammed over and over again with one thing and another. I tell you, with the earthquakes and the floods everywhere, and the volcanoes, and I tell you, the earth is getting slammed. Some people believe it's because of planet Nibiru and its magnetic influence on the earth as it's about to swing by. I don't know. Then some people believe that our weather is controlled by the government and the military and whatnot. I don't know. I know one thing. We're in the end times. And, and things are just going to keep getting worse. And... I hope we're not in for a really wet, cold, extra cold winter. Tell you what, I think we, we'd all be wise to stock up on uh, medical supplies, have you a good first aid kit and plenty of vitamin C and stuff to treat colds and flus with and whatnot, because... Well, I tell you, we, you don't know what we might be in for. It, everything's uh, wild and crazy nowadays. Like, like uh, uh, the other day, my back went out. So I've been going through hell with that. My husband had strep throat, and he got over it, and now I, well, I'm getting over the strep throat part, but I have a cold now in my head, so it's been one thing after another. Well, I tell you, I don't like being sick. And... Uh, my daughter has moved in with us, and uh, she's already had a job waiting for her. She went right to work, and um, she's been going to a church that she likes really well, and she seems to be pretty happy, and I'm glad. This morning, she came over. Well, she sleeps out in the cabin. She came in this morning carrying one of them. They're called glue pads. I call them sticky pads. It's the same difference. With that we had put in there right next to the door where the door opens. We had put one of them. I had folded it up and taped it shut where it would hold and put it right there next to the door. And a mouse had goes in under the door that I don't know how they can squeeze into such tiny places because yeah you just wouldn't think that a mouse could squeeze in under that door but it did and it went into that little thing that little glue pad sticky pad thing it was stuck in there and it was alive and she was kind of freaking out <laughs> And so I just 
got a trash can. They told her just drop it in that trash can, and and uh, she took and then threw that trash bag out in a barrel. And then I told her, well, if, if uh, scorpions don't freak you out, there's one over in the kitchen sink. <laughs> So got got up this morning. There was a scorpion in our kitchen sink, and I sprayed it with poison and killed it. But I can't stand the sight of them. They just freak me out. She said they don't bother her, so she took a paper towel and got that out and threw it away. So we just had creepy critter morning. I hope it's severe weathers we've had a lot of an extra bit of rain here out here in west texas this year and we're due for some more in the next few days and we just had a, a big uh, storm the other night and a little more rain yesterday and i hope that don't drive in a bunch more of them scorpions oh god i hope not i can't stand them oh We've got sticky pads down all over the place. I sprayed that ortho home defense along the baseboards and every which of where I could spray at the house, you know, and being safe about it. And the, that one's still, well, there's been more that came in than the one got on the sticky pad back over here. They just seem to crawl right over that that ortho home defense i don't know if that stuff really actually does any good or not I, it, it, bugs just crawl right across the barrier and keep on a going so i don't know uh, i just keep putting down them sticky pads everywhere they sell out pretty quick in the walmart super center here in town so apparently a lot of other people's having trouble with crawly bugs in their houses too but, Well, let's see, is there anything else new to talk about? I've gained more weight. Nothing real surprising there. My husband's going to a party tonight where he might could win some money. We hope so. We have debts we need to pay on, mostly medical debts. That's mainly what it is. We owe the IRS money to... Not a lot, but I don't like being in debt, any kind of debt. It hangs over my head like a dark cloud. I don't have enough money of my own coming in because I have real good insurance with a uh, Humana, but between Medicare and Humana, they take out a they take out almost half of my disability checks. So I'm left with just very little to do anything with. But anyway, that's life, I guess. I haven't been able to do a whole lot lately, just Trying to take it easy, wait for my back to get better again. They're wearing adult diapers because whenever my back goes out, I become even more incontinent than normal. Just peeing my britches every time I turn around if I ain't careful. I don't know if it's because of the pain in my back or what it is, but when my back goes out, I just lose bladder control. It's just been one thing after another here lately. I 
Wish I had something new and interesting to tell y'all about. But I guess that's about it. I wish some of my family would have them YouTube channel and they'd you know, show some talk about what's going on with them and it'd be interesting. I would boy that would really be interesting to subscribe to my family's YouTube, but none of my family's got YouTube except for my daughter. She don't record much on hers unless it's preaching. which is fine, but to each his own, you know, as far as what they like to record on YouTube. There's all kinds of stuff on YouTube, I tell you. I like to see what all's on there. Oh, I tell you, I just had a little sharp pain. I tell you, it just seems like my body is just falling apart these days. I'm only 57. I might feel like I might as well be 87 sometimes. But, uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. I know it's boring, but that's how it is. Our little dog Harley, he, he just loves to chew on stinky, nasty things and dead things. And several days ago, my husband brought home this big turtle shell. I mean, this thing is this big old turtle shell that he had somebody had thrown away. And uh, some of those uh, scales, I guess you'd call them, on the shell are coming off. I guess that thing's been dead quite a while. And Harley, our dog, has been chewing. He's been chewing on uh, them scales. I don't know what he gets out of it, but... I think before that thing gets too rotty, well, I think it'd be kind of neat to put it like in a flower bed or a rock garden setting and um, put some soil in it and grow some kind of flowers out of that turtle shell. I think that'd be really neat. And the first thing that comes to my mind is those flower plants called, uh, some people call them ice plants, I think. But something like that, that would be really neat to grow from inside of a big old turtle shell like that. Of course, here it is fall. I don't know what you'd plant in it in the fall. I just don't know. We just recently bought and planted a Italian cypress tree that, that we bought from a... a Walmart and uh, another uh, purple sage. We planted those just the other day. And my husband asked me, he said, is it too late in the, in the year to be planting something like this? I told him, well, I don't know, but they were selling them and here they are. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> I think they'll do all right. I sure do like that purple sage. It's just beautiful when it blooms. And we've got one big old bush. Big old bush. And this year we planted, let's see, one, two, three. We've planted four now this year. Four more purple sage. And we've got another one, small one, growing out there at the front of the property. 
this year started out dry, but we've had quite a bit of rain the last few weeks, so. It's going to help everything. And that's about it. What's new here? Here's my latest embroidery project. It's a spinning wheel with flowers. This is an old vintage uh, pattern. I don't remember where in the world I got it from. But I sure do like it. Hey, I can see it better than I put this behind it there. But anyway. And I, I did this on the ends of the cloth. See if I can get it where you can see it. Well, I'm trying to hold the needle. Now, this may look familiar to y'all. That's because I've got several of these crinoline ladies, they call them. Old vintage patterns. Each one's different, but they're crinolines. They, they all look similar. But anyway, that's about it. I guess I'll yak at y'all later. Bye. Well, bye.